हेलो वॉचर्स एंड डियर सब्सक्राइबर्स वेलकम बैक टू मेक योर एनोड एप्लीकेशन ट्यूटोरियल नंबर 17 नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर कोडिंग इन द एक्लिप्स नाउ इन द एक्लिप्स इनसाइड द एनोड इंटरव्यू ऐप वी वर हैविंग अ फ्रंट पेज डॉट जावा सो जस्ट ओपन इट नाउ हियर इज आवर क्लास फ्रंट पेज व्हिच एक्सटेंड्स एक्शन बार एक्टिविटी its layout will look like front page dot xml now what we are going to do we are going to initialize all the four buttons that we made in the front page dot xml now these are the four buttons so we are going to write the codes of all these four buttons in our front page dot java now let's initialize it simple b tough then b c other apps b read app now these were our four buttons let's import it fine now let's write b simple equal to button find view by id r dot id dot b simple question now this was the id that we assigned to this simple question button right similarly let us initialize the b tough button b c other apps button and the b read app button Now here finally we have initialized all our buttons by these lines of codes. Now what we are going to do? We are now just going to add the on click listener for all these buttons. Now let us implement on click listener. This double click on it, right? Now it will show an error. Now this error can be only rectified when we will add the unimplemented methods. Now whenever we implement a class then it is compulsory that we have to override the methods contained in the class so this is our overrided method on click method remove this comment now let us apply the switch case statement let's say v dot get id now let's write our value r dot id dot bsq remove this default now similarly btq then bc other apps now here what we have done we have just implemented the on click listener and after that in the overrided method of the on click method we have used a switch case statement in order to differentiate the four buttons and what action we are going to apply on these individual buttons this now this is the method one guys that i discussed with you in the in the buttons tutorial please go back and check it now what functionality we are going to provide to this simple question button now when user will click on this button then it is going to display a layout which will show the user the list of simple questions and the answers of those questions so what we are going to do we are just going to make a new java class let's name it simple question hit finish right now what we are going to do let us extend with let it extends action bar activity which is our basic steps right here leave this simple question dot java as it is now go to the front page dot java now inside it we will use the explicit intent so that when user will click on this button simple question then the user will be migrated to the simple question dot java right so for that let's use intent let's say i equal to new intent this was our syntax front page dot this comma simple question dot class this was our syntax guys and that we discussed in the explicit intents videos let's start this intent let's say i fine now similarly for the tough question when the user will click on this button of tough question then it will automatically display a page of tough questions right so for that let us create a new class let it name as tough questions hit finish now again extend action bar activity now save it go to the front page dot java now add the functionality to this button also to this tough question button also right let it be j change it to tough question tough question dot class let's start j now we have added the functionality to these two buttons simple question button and the tough question button now what we are going to do these 
this simple question dot Java how it will going to, how it is going to appear and how this tough question is going to appear so for that we have to make a separate layout in our resource folder right now go to the layout folder right click new Android XML file let's say questions now let it be linear layout fine no props now here comes our questions dot XML now guys in the front page dot Java I just forgot to add the action to these buttons the code initialization is incomplete as of now now do one thing just add be simple dot set on click listener now in the context give it this right now similarly for all other three buttons we have to set the on click listener this then again B C other apps Now guys our codes for the front page dot Java for this video is completed. We have added the functionality to the simple question button and the tough question button. Now don't bother about these two buttons guys. We will check out the functionality of these two buttons at the end of this series of make your Android app. Now here is our questions dot XML. Here is a little twist. Now there are two activities simple question dot Java and tough question dot Java and what we are going to do we are going to design a common layout for these two Java classes. Now what do I mean by this designing a common layout for these two Java classes that I am going to explain in the next video and we are going to start our designing for the questions dot XML layout with the help of linear layout from the next video onwards. So meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment below my video do like and share my video guys and support us in a way you can this is Shrakes from Smart Heart signing off thank you and have a good day